Hello, my name is Martin, and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video, I'm going to do a revisit on the filamentum nylon extra fill. It's called Nylon FX256. So let's have a look after the intro. So, like I mentioned in the intro, uh, this is a re revisit on the filamentum nylon. Uh, about a month ago, I did a review video on the nylon I got, nylon extra fill. Um, I had a little bit of problem with that filament. Uh, layer adhesion was not very good and I had some stringing issues. Um, after that video, I got contacted by filamentum and, and they asked me a few questions about the spool and the, the process. And we found out the spool like I had was pretty old and very wet filament, so I was not getting the best experience of a nylon filament from filamentum. So what they did, they sent me a new roll with their newest nylon, and that is called Nylon FX265 Extra Fill. Uh, it's an, like a natural color, and this is a spool, and I did some test prints and, and I want to show you my results. So like with many other prints, I did do this stringing test, and I also use it to test out strength. Um, it's uh, quite difficult to, to break the strands at the thickest point, but there's a, there's a tiny bit of stringing in the most detailed parts. It's not so much of a problem, it's, uh, nylon is somewhat stringy. Normally, so it's not a not a big issue, but the layer adhesion in this example is much much better than the layer adhesion I had on the previous pool. So it's it's quite difficult to break the strands at the at the base. Um, I did the overhang test and got pretty good results. A little bit of drooping here in the 70 degree, but the strength of this one is is pretty strong. It's quite difficult to to break. Um, I did some brake tests. Um, this one was laying down on the bed. It's hollow inside, so there's no infill and it won't break. It just bends and it's uh, super tough. And so it doesn't shatter. Uh, so it just bends and it's quite difficult. Uh, this one was standing upright. Uh, it's quite difficult to, to break and as you can see it's hollow inside so it's only two layers uh, that are or t two parameters that are breaking but it's it's quite difficult to, to break um, did a breaching test and that came out pretty good there was not a not a huge issue so a few strands hanging down here uh, like I have normally on a little bit of stringing but nothing serious and this is coming out pretty tough. It's, uh, you can bend this in many directions and it's difficult to, to break. Uh, I then did the Mr. Belly model. And this one I printed a little bit too fast. <laughs> As you can see, it didn't have time to cool down. Then I reprinted it uh, a little bit slower and with a little bit of part cooling. And then it came out pretty nice and it's, it's pretty tough. And it's, uh, it's okay to have a little bit of fun, but normally you didn't, don't want to have too much fun. If, if you use too much fun on nylon, it will maybe have a bad layer adhesion. But this is, is quite tough, uh, the legs on this one. And I also did the Omnum and the Otis model. Um, this one came out pretty nice, and uh, no issue to speak of, but here in the top part, I was printing too fast, so I didn't have time to cool down. <laughs> uh, this was with no part cooling fan, so this has to, you have to really slow it down if you are printing very fine detail, like on the top of this model. But the uh, other model, but the Omnum model came out pretty nice. And there was no, no issues like that on this one. Um, this is, is quite tough. I also did this test, and that came out excellent. Uh, a little bit of stringing as before, but not, not, not too much. Um, now, this is pretty tough. It's, it's uh, bends, you can bend, bend it a lot and it doesn't, doesn't break. So I'm, I'm getting uh, definitely a much better experience with this filament uh, as it is a new roll than I did with the previous one. Um, then I printed the doll bot. Um, this one is quite tough. Normally, it's very easy to break the legs. But those are quite tough, you can see how, how I bent them. <laughs> uh, and they are not breaking, so 
this was quite nice a uh, little bit of stringing but nothing to worry about uh, but the toughness of this nylon is it's definitely showing normally i was not able to do this to leg of this model but it would break uh, i did uh, zero layers a lot uh, this one is also very tough um, i can in no way <laughs> bend this one uh, i made this hammer uh, it's you can bend this a little bit uh, because nylon is so much flexible but it's really tough and i've been banging this on the floor and it doesn't show any tear <laughs> wear or tear but it's impossible to to break this this is uh, very very tough um, finally i did this model it's a waste model i designed um, I, I can bend this in in all ways and hold holds the shape and um, doesn't crack so it's here I am pulling on the on the base and the layer adhesion is excellent and, and no I'm not able to pull this apart. Layer adhesion now is, is excellent and, and the problems I had before are, are not here. Um, this is super tough. I'm trying to to break this a little bit with my hammer <laughs> and doesn't budge. Finally, I was able to, to break the head of the jewel bot. <laughs> it, it's, it's really tough. It's, you can see how the legs bent like this and then just go back in shape. wonder how much it will take. Ah, it was, finally, I was able to break the jewel bot. <laughs> but this is really tough. You can see how, how it bends. So. So as you can see me smashing up my models like I normally do now with this new uh, roll that is a brand new roll that doesn't have any any moisture issue uh, I was able to get excellent prints and uh, layer adhesion the problem I had before is not existing maybe my fault not to dry out the nylon before I did that review because if the spool was old and wet then I was not using the the material in a correct way and i've read about nylon being sensitive to moisture and but i didn't have any real experience with it before so this is a learning process for me <laughs> and i thank filamentum for sending this roll to me at no cost to me it was awesome for them to to send a roll and they want me to try it out and see if i would have a better experience and i surely did so i thank filamentum for for sending the roll and as a bonus they sent me the PLA Extra Fill Atlantic Blue, that's an awesome filament I, I use a lot. You can see here in the shelf I have a lot of filamentum and, and a few rolls of the Atlantic Blue. <laughs> but uh, like I said, this was a recap of the previous video. Um, I thought it was fair for to give this another shot because I was uh, having a wet spool and not maybe knowing how to treat nylon <laughs> in the previous video. It was like my first review of a nylon filament. But uh, I think I'm really happy with this filament now and I could recommend it. <laughs> I wasn't so sure about my previous experience, but now I'm quite happy. So uh, this will be it for this video. I hope you like this video and give it a thumbs up and like and share and all that and, and subscribe to my channel. But so for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.